Okay, I'm I'm five nine, and I'm standing up. Got a nice light in here, and it works. Okay, and then there's the underside of your compass. Nice bus bar, all the backs of your switches. Nice bus bar with all your fuses. And let me tell you, everything works. And, but what Cape Horn did here is they sealed this. So if you get water in there, what you've got to do is you've got to fire up that little bilge pump. And this pump right here works real well. It's got a nice big water tank right there. I'm, I'm bending over so I can see you. But see, I'm 5'9". I'm 5'9", and there's probably another three inches above there. So it's a pretty nice size room. Okay, I just want to show you on the uh, starboard side, both of your oil tanks down in there. Your trim tab pump is right over there. Fuel filters, and I've emptied them, both of them, and they were clean as they can be. You got entrance right there, and then of course, you know, right there, you've got entrance too. Two rod holders on the back at the stern. Two rod holders on the uh, starboard side, one right there, one right there. Five rod, rod holders in the back on the leaning post. And then one, two, three, four, five, six across the back. Two rod holders over here. And then two fuel tanks. Do I know how many gallons they hold? I do not. I will find out. Okay, two brand new batteries and only one master switch. Clean down there though, clean. There's a, a raw water pump, we'll show you it works. And then of course you have entrance from this side too. Okay, and there's your raw water pump right there. All right, there you go, now she's talking. Just to show you that the raw water pump is pumping. big this boat is huge nice step down plenty of room to go bait casting up here if you want to bait cast if you're working a fish from the front whether you're lobstering scuba diving whatever it's just a big boat big boat big boat big Carolina flare up front all right we're getting ready to wind Twenty knot winds. We're gonna show you what she'll do. Hang on, now you hanging on? Just hang on.
Don't you love being on the water? Huh? Don't you love it? All right, just to show you where you're at now, all right, you're, you're in the world famous mouth of the St. John's River where it meets the Atlantic. back to about now we're in now we're into the uh, we're into the wind about 18 knot wind and about two and a half to three about two and a half foot of slop and, and, you know back to back and I've got it in 20, 29 29 I've got it at 29 29 Indicate 23 miles an hour. Nice dry ride. We got a nice ride right here. Bow's, bow's riding nice. Running Hondas. U.S. Coast Guard running Japanese Hondas. Of course, I'm running Japanese motors too. What's that tell you? I saw. Okay, listen to me. If you can run these engines another seven, say you can run another 800 hours on them, you'd be hard pressed to, 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 for these engines to reach their max. They're what I call TBO, like an airplane, just like an airplane. I guarantee you, I bet you they'd still be running strong, strong, at 15, 1600 hours, 1700 hours. This boat is a tremendous value. Come on down here to Jacksonville. I'll put you on the water out here and you can see it. Call me, Steve Tillman, 904-509-4336 or 1-866-935-0272. And I tell you, I'll, I'll send you the engine run reports and you'll see that these puppies right here have spent most of their life slow trolling. They just have not been run hard. All right, now always, as always, on behalf of the whole Tillman crew and uh, all of our family to yours, make it a safe day on the river. Don't forget your safety. We don't forget our safety equipment. Don't you forget yours. And we'll see you on the river. Take care now.